was, uh, my wife and I went out to California. We had a little girl a year and four months. And then this one here is four months. Mm. And um, she got dehydrated. And somehow we got out to California from here. We figured the change of water or climate affected her. She got dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And she got an acetone smell. We we call it death smell. The doctors call it acetone smell. Mm. And my my wife's mother had it, had the same order just before she died. <coughs> Excuse me. And um. And so I, I started school out there. I went in a few days. And I came home at noon. And and. Uh, they just got home about noon too, and the schooling then was five hours a day. Mm. And so, I just got home at noon, and they told me all that they went through look, trying to find a day, lady or a doctor specialist, and uh, they found one finally. And uh, and they said the doctor said what she has, maybe one in ten might survive. No, oh. and so. Uh, we, uh, I had had her laying on the bed, and, uh, and then I knelt down on the floor. My wife was on the left side, and she, <clears throat> she was too weak to cry, and she wouldn't couldn't sleep. Her eyes were just dropped open a little bit, mm -hmm. like stare. I opened my Bible, Mark chapter sixteen, the last chapter, mm -hmm. going all the world, preach the gospel. Every creature in me, he signs will follow them that believe in my name. They cast out demons, speak with new tongues, and they take up serpents. And if they drink any the thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Well, I went through each one of those phases, and I was getting loud, and shouting it. And, um, and after I said, after we prayed for her, um, cast out demons, spoke in tongues, and demons won't hurt me. And then we put our hands on her and, and prayed. And uh, then I pointed up to the seat, and we had a small little mobile home, like. Mm -hmm. And um, I put up the seat, and I said, Jesus, you said this. And I pointed out the scriptures. I said the second time, then I said, if you don't do this, you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, I thought, Brandy, little kid, we think you're yeah, talking <laughs> Lord like that. And Alice got up and walked behind me and went in the kitchen and said, she's healed. Yeah, and I got up and then I stood there like this and, and uh, and I began to watch her and I said, Alice, come in here. She came back in. That acetone smell left her. Mm -hmm. And uh, her eyes were sunken in, her nose were black. Her forehead and fingers were shriveled. And uh, we stood there watching her. The, we watched the shriveled forehead and shriveled fingers come out to normal. We watched that blackness leave her. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she started looking around like this, looking around, and and I got eight ounces of milk, and I fed it to her, and she drank it down, never burped up a bit of it, totally healed, went to sleep, totally healed. Wow.